guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and this is it. This is the big kahuna. After many crashes and many blue screens later, I finally have for you guys the full nine main Easter egg tutorial, taking you through start to finish what you need to do to get the final achievement, what you need to do to finish up this map, and what you need to do to get that ending cutscene. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started with the most simple and clear, concise way to show you guys how to beat this Easter egg. So, getting it started with step one, you need to go ahead and turn on the pack a punch as soon as possible basically all the other steps ride on you turning on pack a punch so you absolutely have to do that first you cannot do any other steps until you turn on pack a punch and once you are done with that you can go on to step two so after opening up pack a punch the first thing you need to do is in the pack a punch room there is going to be a skull that spawns in with a little symbol on it now this is what the skull actually looks like it's going to look just like the other skulls however this one is going to have a little symbol on it it is pretty darn difficult to find and there are a few spawn points of it i'm going to put a diagram up on the stream right now showing you all of the different skull spawn points just basically look in all of these locations look at the upper story look at the bottom story in each of the side locations and you will eventually find this skull with a with a little symbol on its forehead now whenever you do find this skull this is what you actually need to do so whenever you find the skull call it out to your teammate or if you have your specialist weapon ready get as close as you can to the skull crouch down if you need to activate your specialist weapon and that will actually pop the skull out of the wall you cannot just hit it with your specialist you actually have to activate the specialist as close as possible to this thing and upon activation of your specialist it will pop right out on the wall hold square to pick it up and you are on to the next step so the next step is to get the scorpion wonder weapon the death of orion by completing the death of orion easter egg now you have plenty of time to do this because there's basically nothing you can really do that's easter egg related until about round 10 or 11 when the first gladiator axe thrower spawns so just immediately after you get pack a bunch open you get that skull start working on it and get the death of orion as quickly as possible and you basically have a bunch of rounds to actually do it until about round 10 when the first gladiator zombie spawns in so start working on it if you don't know how to build the death of orion there's going to be a link in the description to my guide on how to do it very quickly very easily it is it is super super easy to get and it is just a couple of steps so start working on the death of orion and we will get on to the next step so now that you have the skull and the death of orion is being worked on all you need to do is head out to the middle of the arena and one of the members on your team or if you're playing it solo you actually have to do it have to get an extremely negative crowd affinity so you basically need to slide through fire a lot throw grenades out into the crowd those are the two easiest ways to get negative affinity and eventually you will get crowd affinity items while having it negative and one of these is going to be a little pile on the ground of poop yes i'm not kidding it is literally a pile of poop on the ground that is going to take away 250 of your points but you absolutely need it for a step of the easter egg so go ahead get that negative crowd affinity get that poop going and now we are going to be waiting for the gladiator zombie to spawn in so the next step is as soon as you get the gladiator in the map, it can't be one of the ones that you use for the champions trials just to get pack a bunch of opens. It has to be the first one that actually spawns in in the map. You need to basically bait him into throwing his axe into one of these two wood piles on either side of the spawn area. Basically, he's just going to obviously throw his axes at you and you need to actually bait him into hitting that wood pile with his axe. And upon him actually throwing that, hitting the wood pile, a piece of wood will fly off and you need to go ahead and collect it. It's very, very easy to do, but the main thing is you want to do this with the very first glider that spawns in because you will obviously have to wait rounds after this and that is just very very bad for e strike so grab that piece of wood you are on to the next step so before you do anything else, before you even end the round, head over to the bottom of Odin's Tower and put this wood piece up here where it's going to sit for two full rounds. Now this two round thing is going to basically heat it up and turn it into charcoal, but make sure you do this ASAP because it will take two full rounds to do this, and if you end the round early, that's a lot of extra time you have to wait. So go ahead, put this in there ASAP, and get on to the next step. So the next step is to head over to the Flooded Crypt and find this little machinery box right here. Now this is the first spawn location of it. The second spawn location is all in this room. It is right here on this little pedestal and a third possible spawn location is over here on this wall just pretty much find this little meat grinder and then you need to go ahead and get the death of orion and take it over and remember that skull that we got from the very very beginning we are actually going to hold square and put that skull into the top of this meat grinder and we're going to shoot it with the death of orion three different times so you will obviously need the death of orion for this, this is the only ether easter egg step you actually need the death of orion for but fully charge up a shot shoot it three separate times once it finishes spinning and you're actually going to get this little pie 
pile of dust and dirt out of this thing, which is the skull that has been grinded up. So after it finishes, go ahead, grab that little pile of dust, and you are on to the next step. Now around this time, it should have been two full rounds since you put this wood chip in there. Go ahead, hold square to pick that thing up. If you were able to pick it up, you are good to go and you are finished with this step. Just keep in mind, it has to be two full rounds and any any rounds where you get a max ammo at the end, any of the boss rounds, do not actually count as progression through this. So go up, if you can hold square and pick the wood chip back up, you are good to go. You have everything you need and we can finally create the concoction from all three of the materials that we picked up. So in order to go any farther in this Easter egg, you need three different things at this point. You need number one, the burnt wood chip, number two, the poop, and number three, the skull that was ground up into the skull ash. And if you have all three of these things, head over to the Zeus's tower bathhouse and put this inside of this little cauldron. And if you have all three of the items, it should go in there and make a nice little pile. If it doesn't, you are missing an item. You don't have everything you need and you need to go back and figure out what you're missing. If it goes in there, you are good to go. And now we must make two more full rounds. Again, boss fight rounds do not count for this. You need to go two more full rounds until you can come back and pick this stuff up. So once you have completed two full rounds, as soon as the round changes, this thing will turn from just a normal little pile to a nice steaming pile. You need to run over, pick that up, and then immediately take it over to the bottom of the Danu Tower entrance and basically go ahead and just put this right in the middle of the two different trees. And then we are waiting for two more full rounds until this actually starts steaming once again. Yes, I'm not kidding. You have to just go through a lot of rounds at this point, so really no rush. As long as you're on the right track and you're keeping track of everything, it should be no problem whatsoever. Now, once it has been two Two rounds and the ground is glowing green you need to get a gun that is double pack punched with firebomb and just get a zombie kill on top of this green little stack and you will actually see a big old flash and the ground will now get some blue kind of cracks coming out of it as you can see this is what it looks like whenever you get that firebomb kill the cracks will kind of appear and then you just need to get every player in your game to come and stand as close to the middle of this as you humanly can it will take a little bit to activate sometimes sometimes people aren't close enough sometimes you will just have to take out your specialist weapons to survive here sometimes hold square on this little kind of like dirt pile does actually work but you will eventually if you are all standing close enough if you're holding square on that and you're just using your specialist weapons to stay alive as long as you are close enough to that middle you will get teleported into this little kind of like blighted area and basically the best strategy for this is one person can just even if it's just one person one person just throws the homunculus and everybody just with pack punched weapons starts shooting the crap out of this little blight thing it will take a ton of bullets to kill just one person with homunculus should be enough though just go ahead throw your homunculus as soon as it's running out throw another one just use that monkey bomb effectiveness and as soon as it does to get destroyed a max ammo will actually pop out and fly right towards you whenever this does happen you need to go right up to the next floor do the exact same thing just keep on shooting it eventually it will explode you'll get a max ammo keep on throwing those homunculus and then keep on going up to the third floor do it one third time and then once that is done the blight has been cleansed and you are done with the raw tower or sorry rather the danu tower challenge which means you are one fourth of the way through the challenges and you are on to the next one which is the raw challenge so at this point there's going to be four bullheads that spawn around the map that you actually need to shoot with your shield and as soon as you shoot it with your shield a gladiator is going to spawn and then you just need to kill the gladiator so all in all there are four things outside of the map outside of the windows and whatnot that you need to shoot with your shield and then four gladiators that you need to kill and it, you can do them all at the same time you can do them one at a time it doesn't really matter the rounds are just going to keep going this is basically like an additional challenge on top of that and basically once you are done with all four you are on to the next step but i'm going to show you guys every known spawn location right now if there are any more found i'm going to leave them in the description under additional notes so that you guys can find the spawn points but i believe this is all of them so let's go ahead and show you guys every single spawn point that can possibly appear for this step of the easter egg so the first possible spawn point is right here from odin if you cross the bridge and look left wherever the wood meets the stone that is the first possible spawn point so if you get that spawn point again all you got to do is just blast it with your shield kill the guardian that comes out and you'll be one fourth of the way done the next possible spawn point is in the flooded crypt at this very back window you will have to get a left hand angle here and it will be right above the table this is actually a spawn point that you saw in my game so that is the one that you can actually look over there and see what it looks like whenever you're seeing it without it being lit up yet so just come to the left side of this barrier and look right there so the next up is the location right outside the bottom of danu in the danu tunnel come right over here to this gate that is open look up on the wall and it'll be right there in front of you very very easy one to spot so the next one is in the odin zeus temple entrance it is right outside of where pack a punch is it is right on the other side of these leaves just stand on the left hand side you can spot it right there on the very very front so the next possible location is right next to the shield buildable look through this window from the left side and it'll be right there on the right of this wall 
So the next one is another one we had in our game. This one is from the temple and the pack-a-punch go up the left-hand side of the stairs, come over to the left side, and that thing on fire is the spawn point. Of course, that's what it looks like after you actually shoot it, but that is the next location of the next medallion. So the next one here is in the raw burial chamber. This is a shot of me actually shooting it from the left-hand side of the window. As you can see, it is up there on the corner right above the lantern, and it just go ahead, make your way to this broken window, look up to the right-hand side, and you'll be able to easily get that one. The next one is here in the arena from the middle podium go ahead and look over here and right in the middle you see that one lit up at the top that is again one that we had in our game but it'll be right in the middle you can shoot it from just basically down here at this angle another very very easy one so the last one is from the Danu statue just basically turn right get to the left hand side of this window and look as far right as you can and the medallion will be right there underneath the crowd at this angle and you can shoot that and that is all of the confirmed locations so far once again if any more are confirmed i will include them in the description so all in all for this step, just a quick recap, you have to find four bolt medallions outside the map, shoot them with your shield, spawn in four of these guys with each medallion that you shoot, kill them, and then their soul will go to raw to help appease raw. And once all four of those souls have been collected, you can move on to the next step. Once all four of the medallions have been shot and all four of the gladiators have been killed and raw has been powered up, everybody make your way over to the raw temple, hold square to start the raw challenge. Now it's gonna flash four different symbols that basically signify each one type of specialty zombie that you are going to have to kill in that order i'll give you guys the translation and a kind of like a cheat sheet here in a second here but basically this is how this works say your order was fire zombie water zombie electric zombie poison zombie right one of each of the four elementals basically it is going to spawn in a bunch of normal zombies and then it is going to spawn in one of the fire one water one electric one poison and that is it it's basically the four zombies that you need to kill in that order that those are the only specialty zombies that are going to be spawned in so you need to translate what the order is that you got and say your order was fire water electric poison basically what you need to do is kill the fire zombie first as soon as the fire zombie is dead kill the water zombie and then as soon as the water zombie is dead kill the electric zombie and as soon as the electric zombie is dead kill the poison zombie basically you can kill as many normal zombies as you want but if you accidentally kill the zombies out of order it does not work and you basically will have to reset and you only get to attempt this once per round and there are two different phases of this if you finish the first phase and then fail the second phase you you basically will get the progress for the first one done but you will have to reset redo the second one on another the round and you'll see that by the statue would be uh, basically being halfway lit up so basically you have to do this two different times and your progress does save you get a checkpoint in between and you do have to activate it each time in between but once you've completed both of these the entire statue will be lit up and raw will be complete the best way we did this is just one person training on each floor and and then basically a two person train on one of the floors and just be very very careful that you don't accidentally kill the other zombies and if you are having trouble with like kilowatt killing them for instance just get cryo freeze and that is the best way to do it to make sure you're you you're not accidentally killing any of the other zombies and uh just one last note here the gladiator is the armor zombie that does throw the axe and the brawler is the zombie that jumps on you and does the little rapid attack thing that is still heavily armored but not as har heavily armored as a gladiator so that's the cheat sheet that's how you do this step let's get on to the next one so immediately after finishing the raw challenge, you can make your way to the Undercrypt, and as soon as you finish the challenge, there's going to be four of these little spinners that actually spawn in the map that you need to shoot until they go all the way up into the sky. This is the first spawn location right here, right next to the Fallen here. The second one is over here, right out the exit of Danu. Just make your way to this little door, and the second one is right there. You just had to shoot that one, and it'll go up into the sky. The third one is over here, right next to this, above the rack weapon rack. Just go ahead and shoot that. It'll go all the way up as soon as it disappears you are done and then last but not least this one is right next to pack a punch right above this little lady and as you can see that's probably the most hidden one because it's the farthest away but just stand right here in this rubble and shoot that thing i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you actually shoot these things it's going to keep on keep on spinning keep on spinning you're going to use probably a mag or two you can use your shield to shoot these you can use a pack a punch weapon it doesn't really matter what you want to use but just keep on shooting them and eventually it will stop and then go all the way up into the ceiling and then you will see these things leave forever and it, uh, once you have done all four of them, you are good to go. So do all four of those. The little things that are next to them will kind of shoot up into the sky as well with little crystals. And I'll show you guys what to do next. So after all four of them have been shot in the Undercrypt, what you need to do is get your entire team up to the middle statue, hold square on this statue, and then it will start the challenge for this one. Now, at the beginning of this challenge, actually, you are able to roam the entire map. There's no lockage at all. But basically what is going to happen is you're going to make your way all the way up to the main arena once again. And now there's going to be a couple of different kind of electricity zones. There's going to be one around each one of four pylons that you now have to fill up with kilowatt kills. As you can see, there are 
are four around the map right there. These are the actual little beamy things. I don't know what you would call them at all, but the little electricity beamy things that need to be filled up. But basically how you fill these things up is that you have to get kills with kilowatt. Now, basically you cannot just let kilowatt kill the zombies. You will have to get the trigger of the alternate ammo type on them. So they all start getting electrocuted. But then what you need to do is actually execute them before they finish getting electrocuted and just die out. Obviously they are on a timer to die as soon as they do get electrocuted. But basically you need to execute them before you can do this with your special weapon. You can do this with grenades or the easiest way possible is just to continue shooting them after they get electrocuted and they will actually start absorbing souls into the pylon itself. Eventually the pylon will start lighting up blue. As soon as you get two of them, two of them will connect and then basically you just need to keep on going until all of them are lit up and you will be done with this step of the Easter egg. So once all four of them are connected, you see these four orbs spawn on the podium. Everyone holds square on a little orb, and then you get to go and do a really, really fun little boss fight. Now, it's basically all gladiators, tigers, and special enemies, but you pretty much get an infinite special weapon where it just keeps recharging itself. It keeps on getting kills, and it keeps on recharging, and it's absolutely incredible. I really, really love this part of it, but basically just kill all the zombies, survive in here for long enough, and eventually it will end, and you will be on to the final challenge before the boss fight. So for the next part of the Easter egg, we're going to be hitting three different trick shots with the upgraded scorpion gun through the walls of the temple. Basically, there are three symbols that you have to hit, but I'm going to show you guys the exact angle of where to hit the first symbol so you really don't have to know anything else and you can just hit the trick shot. But first off, I'm going to show you guys the actual location of the shots that you have to take and then the shots themselves. So I'm going to show you guys the location of the three shots before I show you guys the angle of the shot you're going to have to take. The first one is right here on the pillar right inside the Danu entrance area of the temple. The next one is over here past the flooded crypt in the normal crypt just called the crypts. It is in this little open window right next to all of the dead people on either side. And last but not least is right over here uh, right next to this open wall with all of the water. The shot is going to be basically right there and you're going to shoot that one through this little side window. So make your way over to the crypts and basically replicate the shot that I take on this little symbol on the wall here. Basically, you're going to take a couple of steps back and you're going to barely shoot it where you can barely see the symbol and you're going to shoot the very, very left hand side of the symbol and basically just try to shoot through the walls to hit all three symbols that are behind that. If you do it correctly, if you shoot from the exact angle that I shot at there, basically it is going to light up and stay lit up and that means you have shot the symbol correctly. That means all three of those symbols that are in line with that one have been done correctly for the second one this is the angle you're going to take a couple steps to the right shoot it through the wall as you can see the first shot did not work because it immediately just faded out and died the second shot stayed lit and as you can see that is all you need to do for that one just hit that shot and it will light up all three symbols through all of the walls that's basically what you're doing for the third one here the third and final one actually to hit the final three symbols with one single shot of the scorpion gun you're basically just going to shoot the bottom of this thing i was jumping for a while that wasn't really working out i just tried shooting from the ground and shooting the bottom of the symbol and as you can see all three of the symbols got hit there's one on the right there and then one on the left and then one that i initially shot and that meant that all nine symbols i've hit all three of my shots and all nine symbols are now lit up on the map so what you need to do at this point is bring your entire team over to the pit and uh this is right next to the shield and then behind this little grating there's a pressure plate so everybody stands on the pressure plates and holds square on the grating and if everybody is on the pressure plate in the right spot basically everyone will start the boss fight and once the boss fight starts this is this is the final kind of like mini boss fight before the actual boss fight now this one is a little different because you will get two max ammos during it and it's basically like a wave base there are three different waves there will be a wave with exploding zombies a wave with acid zombies and then a wave with everything and then blight father so just make sure you shoot a lot this is honestly probably the easiest boss fight aside from the one that you get infinite specialist so just keep on shooting keep on throwing homunculus and everything like that and you should be fine once you've killed both blight fathers go ahead and look down at the top of the grating and hold square and if you actually are able to pick up a key that means that this thing is done you'll get a flash of light and everything like that and it will be complete so make sure you pick up that key make sure you're looking for it in the grating it will be slowly rising up with water finish this and we are ready to go to the actual boss fight which we will be teleported into another arena and basically the only way you have to do that is just go to spawn hold square on the portal you really don't need a ton of ammo because you get a ton of max ammos in this fight you will just basically have to kill a couple of gladiators before your first one starts dropping and you honestly have more than enough ammo so go ahead go into the boss 
fight and let's talk about how to beat this thing. So this boss fight is actually very, very easy to complete and here's how you do it. Stage one is basically a bunch of gladiators spawn in and all start attacking you. Stage two is a bunch of gladiators and tigers come from the same spawn point and start attacking you. Just keep on killing them and you'll progress to stage three. Now stage three, all of the spawn points open up, which means there are gladiators, tigers, and zombies coming from all direction. And on top of that, the boss finally opens up and comes out. And this is one of two bosses. This is the first elephant that you have to kill. Now the elephant's attacks are very, very simple. He has two different attacks. He can either charge at you, he can stomp, or I guess he does have a third attack technically, which is the person riding the elephant will throw a fiery axe at you. And honestly, the only two attacks you have to watch out for is obviously don't get stomped and don't get charged and don't get fiery axe because the axes do I think about a hundred points of damage and the the charge can actually knock you over or the stomp can actually knock you over send you flying up into the air and then you die from fall damage when you hit the ground so those are the two attacks that you have to watch out for and other than that it's very very easy to kill him he basically has two different crit points or three different crit points rather one on each of his sides and then finally one in his forehead basically once you shoot his sides enough in the middle of the crystal you'll get red hit markers when you're hitting his critical points rather than just shooting him and eventually the rider will fall off of his back and then again you can just shoot him in the forehead or shoot him in the sides once more and he will go down eventually he's pretty darn easy to take out especially if you're just avoiding the zombies and focusing fire on him after the first elephant goes down the second one will spawn in and it's basically the exact same boss fight all over again just shoot his sides shoot the crystal on the sides to knock the rider off once the rider is off you can shoot him in his exposed belly or right in the forehead and just keep on avoiding his attacks now it's very very easy honestly i don't even think we had a single down i think one of our players got launched up into the air and hit the ground and died but that was about it that was the only time anyone even was remotely close to dying it's a very easy boss fight just stay spread out don't all group up and that's pretty much all you have to do because you have so much space to work with that being said guys once you have completed this once you have killed the second elephant the easter egg achievement will unlock you will get the final cutscene if you would like to watch the cutscene it's down below in the description you can check that out and watch it for yourself but that being said congratulations you have solved the nine easter egg you've completed it and now you are the the nine the champion of the nine or whatever it is they want to call you at in this in this weird place yeah I, I don't know if they can call you anything after the cutscene i won't i won't ruin that for anyone if you haven't seen it yet but uh definitely go watch that if you haven't seen it yet anyway that is about it guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video hopefully you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you have all I ask in return is that you hit that subscribe button and you hit that like button. Share the video around with your friends if you are trying to complete the Easter egg. This was as as short as I could make this with just being as detailed enough as, as you need it to complete everything without any questions asked whatsoever. That being said, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you all in the next video.